So good morning, everybody. We're, uh, we're reading Jeremiah 32 to 34. It's really a hard read because it's, it's pretty bleak. Um, all, the, all the other towns and cities of Judah have fallen. Uh, Jerusalem's about to fall. It's surrounded by the, uh, the the enemy, and it's really looking bleak. Uh, a lot of people are about to die, and uh, life is never going to be the same again. Or is it? <laughs> that's a crazy thing between uh, this moment and, and the future. We, we have what this moment looks like, and then we have the promises of God for the future. And here Jeremiah is sitting in jail, and he's given he's given a sign... Um, he's given a prophetic thing. Uh, some people are afraid of the prophetic, but he's given this prophetic thing um, as a sign of what the future is going to look like, of the, what the promise that the Lord has given. And, you know, things are not going to be good for that current generation. But in 70 years, people will return to the land and they will again get to, to trade trade properties, trade goods, um, live in abundance. And this is the, the promise that is given. And, and man, it'd be hard to grasp that. And it was hard for Jeremiah to grasp this promise. Um, Jeremiah wasn't some kind of angel. He was just a common, common guy who was uh, tapped by God um, to be his prophet. And there were things that were even beyond Jer uh, Jeremiah's um, ability to grasp in the, in the Lord. So that's why the Lord gave him the things that he did in, in, a, in a way that Jeremiah could understand it. There's so many of us who um, can find it hard uh, because we've been called to live by faith. But when we're sitting in our jail cell, when things look really bleak and impossible and we can't see the future uh, and the future does not look very good at all, We've been called to trust the promises. We've been called to live by faith. We're not a weak people. The children of God are not a weak people. And, and when the, the world around us is going crazy, is uh, falling into depression, when, when, when it's being overwhelmed, we sit in a place of peace and calm and joy. Because we are people who don't rely upon our eyes. We don't, we're not supposed to at least uh, judge things according to how we see them. We're supposed to judge according to the promises, according to the words of our Father, of our Lord, of our King. Uh, and this is what we stand upon. This is what we rest on. So we don't look with the eyes of the flesh, but we, we press in and we look with the eyes of our Father. We look at things as He sees them and not as we see them. And that's that's the whole difference there. This is something that, that Jeremiah struggled with because he didn't have the relationship that we have. We only have this relationship because of Jesus Christ. We only have this relationship because he sent us the Holy Spirit. We only have the, the ability to see as Father sees because of the Holy Spirit in us. We can't do it. Like We, we can speak of the hope that we see to the world around us, but it can only... It, it has to decide whether it trusts our words or not because the world cannot see that hope. The world can't taste that hope. The, the world just can't, can't get there because you can only get there when you're powered there by the Holy Spirit. And that only happens when we surrender our doubts, when we surrender our fears, when we surrender those challenges and we just say, Lord, despite what it looks like, I trust you. I trust your love. I trust you have me. You didn't go to the cross to abandon me now. That's the type of people we've been called to. And despite what it looks like, he holds out his promise. He did it for Israel right here in all that they were facing. Despite the fact that this was the, the uh, correction he was bringing upon them, he also gave them the promise that it wouldn't be forever. Yeah. So hold on to him, because he's the only one that's worth holding on to. The world's filled with empty promises. It has nothing, nothing that we want. Jesus Christ is everything to us. God bless.